curb speculation and also encourage financial prudence among buyers. The holding period for the seller's stamp duty has been increased from one to three years to discourage homeowners from flipping. Another measure, home buyers with at least one mortgage will have to pay more cash up front when buying the next property. The minimum cash payment has been doubled from 5 to 10% of the home's valuation, while the maximum bank loan amount has been reduced from 80 to 70%. The Housing and Development Board has also introduced anti-speculative measures to its resale market. These include increasing the minimum occupation period for non-subsidised flats to five years. Mr Ma stressed that HDB flats are meant for long-term occupation and not for speculation. Homeowners can no longer own both private property and an HDB flat at the same time. So those who buy an HDB flat must now sell off their private property within six months. Mr. Ma also gave the assurance that there will be more help for first-time home buyers. The HDB will raise flat supply. Up to 22,000 new built-to-order BTO flats will be made available next year. To help the sandwiched class of those earning between eight and ten thousand dollars, they will now be eligible for flats under the Design, Build, and Sell scheme of DBSS. HDB will also release land for 4,000 DBSS flats and 4,000 executive condominiums next year. Joanne Chan, Channel News Asia, Singapore.